In this video, I would like to turn the burger icon into an X using jQuery and CSS. So what we want is when we toggle this burger um, icon or element, we would like the appearance of this menu, the three lines, to change into an X. So in the previous video, we were able to close or, or hide the, the nav links when we clicked outside of the burger uh, and a nav links elements. So that's that's the was that was done here in the previous video. But in this video, we want to add more work. So such that this part here is the toggle effect. So this brings slides down that nav links. So what we want is to toggle another class um, called the active, which we'll write in CSS. So that um, takes care of applying um, that effect or the appearance of X. So what we want to do is uh, is um, when we click on the burger icon, so basically like this burger icon, we want to apply or so we want to uh, toggle a class called active toggle class called active, which we will yet to write. But one thing we notice here that the, the burger, this is um, the element anyway. So if we just refer to it as this, because that was the element that was clicked from the first place, this part here, we've clicked the element. So it's pretty much this, um, this is the object, which is the element that we clicked. Again, the burger that allows us to actually work on that specific element by toggling the class active to it. So that's pretty much it. Nothing is going to change because we still need to write the work here. Now, the other thing that we need to do is to remove the class once we've stepped out. So this part here, we slided up the nav links when we went all the way up. What we want to do is bring this back to the, the line. So assuming this changes to an X, we'd like it to come back to how it is as soon as we clicked out or we've, sl we've slided it up. So here we want to remove the active class. Now, in this case, we can't refer to this as this because we are, we're not referring to it like the way we did here. So we actually need to explicitly write the code to um, select the big. I need to put that in single quotation something like that. So what we need to do is remove the class. And again, it's called active. So simply what we've done is if the class has been added here, the burger icon changes to X. And if we slide up, we want to remove it so that it goes back to the way it looks originally, which is pretty much three lines. So that's all we need to do in the jQuery file. Now we'll go to the CSS file and we need to write um, up some code to, to do the transformation for us. So what we want to do is I'm just going to put it right here and I'm going to write a comment here to uh, transform um, to the X uh, icon. I don't know about the line here, but anyway, you get it. You get what I mean. So the first thing we want to do is select the first line. So let's just come here, make this one slightly smaller. So what I'm targeting is that first line here. Okay, so let's do that. Oh, um, seems like I messed up there with the comment. I got it. I got it now. So to do that, let's um, select. So apply burger. Um, dot active. Dot line. Here, we want to. We're aiming for the um, the first element, the first child. And here is what happens. Okay, so basically, here we want to target the first element inside an element of the class burger. When the burger element also has the class active. Okay, that's basically what we're saying here. Uh, just checking that I haven't made a mistake with my lines. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to transform. 
using rotate, we want to rotate the line by 45 degrees. Let me show you what it looks like. So can you see that first line? No, oh, it looks absolutely. So it's definitely rotated by 45 degrees. Now, um, what we want to do now is hide that middle line. So now I'm going to target the second line. Uh, so by choosing number two here. And what I all I need to do is um, for the opacity here. So I'm going to use the opacity property. Opacity. And um, I'll just make it zero. So this way we are hiding the second line. So it's gone. Now, the, the, the other thing that we want to do is we want to now select the third line. I might actually choose this one because it's pretty similar. The third line, which is this element here, and we want to uh, rotate by minus 45 degrees the other way around. So look at what we've got here. So it's pretty interesting. We still need to do some work. So still not looking like an X. It kind of looks like an arrow pointing to the right. So now what we want to do is we want to add another thing called translate, another property called translate. Let's go with five pixels by five. So what this, let's just see what it looks like first. Okay, so it's kind of more overlapping to the other line. So um, now what we've done here is we've moved the line um, five pixels to the right and five pixels down. So this kind of gives us that that X shape, but it still needs it still needs to be fixed at the bottom part. So I'm just gonna copy this and put it in here. Now what we want to do is we want to create a diagonal line, but so now we want to move it to the right and up. So if we want to uh, go up instead of down, I can just use the minus. So now it looks more than like an X. So here that moved down, this moved up. So you can see the first line is going down and the other line is going up like that. So, but I feel like it's not looking very, um, I don't know, um, what do you call it? Uh, it's not looking very proportional. So I might want to increase that to six and just one pixel because of the over, I think it's the, yeah, because of the overlapping. Now I feel like this one is is more like it. So it looks more like an X. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We might want to, what we can also do is give it some sort of an animation um, here and the line property. So we can um, add a transition. Saying all properties that can change with three seconds and ease. Sorry, um, not bad. Uh, so you can you can actually see the way the transition is happening. So what we basically do is we trans the transition um, this line here what we've done. So the transition effect applies to all properties that change. So if any property like transform, opacity, color of the element changes, then the transition will apply to those changes. Um, so what this line altogether does it it makes changes in the menu. Um, happen smoothly over three, uh, sorry, not three point three seconds, and the ease makes sort of the animation sl start slowly speeding up in the middle and then slow down at the end. So that's pretty much it's happening pretty quick, but um, I think um, it's looking good. So let's let's bring it down to its natural size and see what it looks like. So that's uh, when I click out. It also works because of the work that we've done in the previous video here. But that's pretty much it. If you like the effect um, of having that X, which kind of improves the accessibility of your web page, because users now get a better understanding of why or how to close the menu if they don't. I hope this video was helpful to you, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.